Jesus.
be in the presence of the living God. I am over excited, more than blessed, to be speaking at the historic diamond to be of the Yoja Ford in faith. This memorial service right here in Scotland. Yes, According to Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 16, the Bible clearly says, This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. And for the ancient parts, where is the good way? Walk in it so that you may find rest for your souls. My dear brethren, it is my great joy to subtitle my message I'm going to minister to you. The God of history, the, the secret behind the promise, fear not, sin not. Yes, we are celebrating our heritage at the same time, gazing at the future 
through the 60 years that of God's grace. It is true that your job forward in faith is not a dream but a vision. It is not an organization but an organism. It is a life changing instrument with Jesus Christ on the center. No wonder why the apostle and servant of God, our Father Baba Good says, This church is not my church. It is God's church. I'm only a servant in his church. But he says, Be ye my followers, even as I am a follower of Jesus Christ, according to to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Imitate me. Do the same way you see me doing things. With that understanding, we know that we do not try the gospel. His secret did not try the gospel. He responded to the call. He responded to the gospel. Since it is light, the people who were living in darkness saw a great light in a first coastal perspective. According to Matthew chapter 4, verse 6 in the Bible says, the people living in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of the shadow of death. A light has dawned. When a man who was uneducated living in a rural area where there were no preachers, no schools, no churches, received a revelation. When his mother related a story about the last punishment in hell. Listen to this, my dear brethren. When it's seated, right and a fire. Listen to these words. Our conversations with our children affect them for a lifetime. They pave and shape their destiny. And the Bible clearly says, train ye a child in the way he should go, so that when he is old, he will not depart from it. The story led Ezekiel, who was 15 years by then, to seek and find whether there was a creator. failure to do what is expected of you. Sin means to miss the mark. Ezekiel was supposed to be worshipping one true God, but he did know him. Thank God the heavens had and opened for Ezekiel to see the light in 1938. The same year when he first heard the voice Yes, God appeared to him when he was under a tree just by the rock and said to him, Fear not, sin not. There is joy in heaven when one sinner comes to know the Lord. When one's name is written in the book of life, 
Yes, the joy in heaven was evidenced when he heard sweet music. The heaven celebrated after God spoke to Ezekiel. Oh, I want you to know there is celebration as we celebrate about the diamond jubilee of the Georgia forward invader. There is also going to be a celebration in the heavenly places of a man who was honest enough, who feared God and sinned not. This was the beginning of the great journey. Yes, as I speak, more than 6,000 pastors have been trained and commissioned. And let not me be as to say the number of elders, decops, but just to say to you, over 150 nations and states have been reached. And according to my analysis, over 50 million have been reached in the 60 years of ministry of such a great man. Yes, there is every reason for you to give a clear offering to what God is doing and what he has done in the land of the living. This reminds me, when God called Moses, or when Moses' journey started, it started just by the burning bush. And signs and wonders followed to prove and confirm that God had surely sent him to deliver his people. Ezekiel's calling and mission started in the bush, just by the rock, in broad daylight. And God says to him, fear not, see not. Let me take you through the lanes of history. Ezekiel was born on Sunday, 5 May, 1923. Walked without God for 15 years. Walked with the Lord for 82 years to date. Founded Zayoja on Sunday, 12 May, 1960. But listen to this. The first in the calendar, in 1938, he was 15 years. God said to him, fear not, see not. Three years later, in 1941, God, the angel of the Lord appeared to him. And in 1948, he was 25 by then. He saw the second coming of Christ. In 1953, God said, I have taken your hand to heal the people. In 1953, when he was 30 years, God took his hand. And in 1955, God would wake him up between four and five. Pray in the city for what was to take to come. And in 1956, 20, 33 years, when he was 33 years, God said to him, read the whole Bible. Let alone in 1957, the great prayer for Africa. In 1960, when he was 37 years, Zayoja Forward in Faith was started under a gum tree in Bindura. Yes, he saw God outside. And he started with him the ministry 22 years later under a gum tree. In 1963, when he was 40 years, God said to him, learn to read the English Bible. Thank God. God gave him understanding and he prayed to read. After meeting God in Gauni, 
Like I indicated, it took 22 years for Ezekiel to start the ministry under the country. But I want you to know something. His audience comprised of angels and people. This is not a story we saw it with our own eyes. We have witnesses at various occasions. But listen to this. You cannot intimidate such a man. Who could hear even a whisper from the devil? When the devil came to him and said, you are wasting your time. You are going to suffer. Don't waste your strength. But he seeks to know the secret because he had heard God speaking to him that if you faithfully preach my word, I will be your money. I will be your clothes. When he realized what God had already spoken, he overcame the light of the gospel. He had started and all dark corners were now exposed. The light of the gospel brings confidence. The light of the gospel brings healing and deliverance. The light of the gospel brings forgiveness of sin. This light is shone and will continue to shine in all the nations of the world. Where the people like you are carrying the same seed which cannot be corrupted. But where shall we go now? We have heard the message. We have believed. Peter also repeated the same words when he said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And remember the core business of the church is to prepare people for his coming. But above all, the greatest message of the church is to tell the world not to fear. And this has become true. We have nothing to fear. We have confidence in him. And listen to this. The benefits of the gospel are forgiveness of sin, a healthy body, boldness, and whatever you want to eat may be added to it. Now, I want you to know that the gold of history is the gold of miracles. Everyone, all people want a miracle in one way or the other. So I want you to know that the God of history is a God of miracles. And I want to say to you, there was no scientific approach for Israel to cross the Red Sea. But the God of history. You are going to cross the river and the sea of your challenge. I want you to know you are going to cross. According to Judges chapter 6, verse 13 through, the Bible tells us of a man, the young man Gideon, who was right hiding. And the good news is, God appeared to him. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, Do not fear, you courageous young man. But the young man said, How come you say don't fear? Where are his miracles which our fathers told us of? We heard that we were brought out of Egypt. You know, the God of history is going to do something just for you where you are. 
And the six was also asking, Creator, if you are there, save me. Creator, if you are there, save me. Same question answered or raised in his prayer. Listen to this. Ezekiel was by a rock in the bush. He had no one to ask, but he had to say, Creator, if you are there, save me. And what did the Creator say? I want you to know. For Israel, there was no helicopter for Elijah and Elisha to cross the Jordan River, but the goal of history. Whew, I love the goal of history. And listen to these words. This reminds me during the Liberation War. At one time I was preaching somewhere as a young man. But news broke that the comrades were supposed to kill me on a certain night. And it's true to their word. They came in the morning. Now the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, go out immediately. When I went out, I saw a troop and quite a number of people, more than a hundred, heavily armed coming my way. So I just got back into the house. And listen to this. I had to pray a very short prayer. I just said, God of Ezekiel, here is work. Mari, why Ezekiel, here he was. So I went back into the house and sat down. After some 10 minutes, now because I was now feeling power, I said, let me go out to meet them outside. They mustn't come in the house where I was. When I went out, there was no more a person. That short prayer, the God of Ezekiel, here is work, was enough to divert them to take another way. Listen to this. Miracles without a historical background are like figs. They do not last. They are just for a season. Why do we make reference to what God did? Because we have seen it with our own eyes. Listen to this. The major question of 1957 was, where are his miracles? We want to see. I want to say to you, a miracle is already coming to you as you listen to me. Very shortly, you are going to be a product of a miraculous prayer prayed along back just for you. Ezekiel prayed for nations to be saved. As I speak, over 150 nations and states have been saved, have been reached with the gospel. Ezekiel prayed for army generals to come to the Lord. To know the Lord. As I speak, we have elders and deacons who are army generals who have been saved. Ezekiel prayed for the establishment of Bible schools. We have them everywhere. Ezekiel prayed to read the English Bible. As I speak, he has written more than a hundred books. 
and accorded the privilege of professorship, not by reason of a nickname, but by reason of great work that we are witnesses of. He prayed for the registration of churches. And churches are registered worldwide. Ezekiel prayed to establish a Christian university. And as I speak, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe Ezekiel Good University is established. And listen to this word. I want to link you to your miracle. The God of history is always ready to do things, especially when he is referred to. To the sick, he says, I am the Lord, your healer. Is there anything too hard for me? Coronavirus is not too hard for him. If you are under his attack, receive your healing now. If you are under his threat, receive your deliverance right now. Cancer is not too hard for him. You can receive your healing now. He says the things that are impossible with men are possible with God. I have the privilege this hour to link you to your impossibilities. I have the privilege this hour to link you to your healing. I have the privilege to link you to what our God is able to do. For he has never failed his people. Listen to this word. He says, come to me, you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. To those who lack, Paul says, but my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. There is no reason why I cannot connect you to this worldwide church which has doors opened for you. Remember, I said to you in the very beginning when I started, the God of history, the secrets of fear not, see not. Now, there is something God is about to do and he is ready to do not just for your nation, but for your family. When individuals are affected, families are affected, nations are affected. One Ezekiel was affected. God took care of his fear and grace about. And listen to this now. The God of history is the God who does things now. I was trying to count the years of our father. And they amounted to 97. And I said, oh, 97 years seem to be the beginning of many more years. Why? I have the privilege to see Muya Rembo at a hundred and thirty-nine years. That's when he went to be with the Lord. 
He could walk. He could pray. He could do what is recorded about him. Nothing changed. And I can say, congratulations to our father, Baba Guti. There is still a long way to go through his grace. And I can rightly say, this is the beginning of new miracles. This is the beginning of the renewal of strength. This is the beginning of empowering impartation. Yes, this is the beginning when the word is sent not only to heal, but to put order and to restore. Listen to this. I can see. I can see people who are saying, we want to take over. It's not a question of taking over. It is a question of walking with the people, walking with him who saw the Lord, who received a vision. It is a question of learning. It is a question of taking heed of every word. I believe, I can see, I can hear a sound that the man of God is saying, I am looking for people whom I can give the vision, whom I can impart, whom I can show the way. I can, I'm looking for people who are not proud, who do not seek their own things. I can hear a sound of the Lord who is saying, yes, I want people who can speak like you, who can talk like you, who can show people, who can tell the people not to sin and not to fear. When you know him, fear is gone. Zayoja is not what people talk about. It is God's school and method to lead them to eternity. Now, I want to pray for that person who was not sure of forward in faith. Who was not sure of the leadership of forward in faith. Listen to this word. I've never heard of a leader who says, after founding a church, it's not my church, it's the Lord's church. A number of people point people to themselves. But Ezekiel is pointing people to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the reason why of Jesus, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Oh, for the joy that was set before him, endure the death, even the death of the cross. And Baba Kuti says, if you want to be with me in heaven, take heed of what I have taught. Now I want to speak your miracle. But before I speak your miracle, you need to be delivered from fear. You need to be delivered from demonic oppression. You need to be delivered right now. Right now. You Spirit of devil worshipping, your spirit of doubt, your spirit of adultery, your spirit who is not of God, I command you to live right now. Let the captives go free. I pray for unity. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir. unity in Scotland, unity in Europe, unity 
in Africa, unity in Asia, unity in Africa, that your people may become one, even as we are of the same father, even as we are one family. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you for what is already happening. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever the enemy of your soul has been trying to do, no weapon that is forged upon you shall prosper. And every tongue that tries to raise itself, it is already condemned. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I say to you, Unopa Sika Chete, Unopa Yambuka Chete, Unopa Bata Chete. To those who were barren, I speak children in the name of Jesus Christ. To the unemployed, I speak employment in the name of Jesus Christ. I know you are saying you are not qualified. Yes, you are not qualified, but there is no qualification which qualifies you to get a job. God's favor must qualify you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am sending you to be employed. Now I can see that man who has no permits. Yes, you are staying in that country, but you don't have permits. You have applied several times, but your applications were turned down. I'm saying right now, we are speaking that you receive new appointment in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for permits, 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 permits. God is saying permits, 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 permits. You need authority to stay in that nation. And we are giving you the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, the God of history is able to give you. Your sickness is already history. To those who are not yet married, I am speaking your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. You have met people who were cheating you, but we are now saying the right person is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you are saying you are now too old for marriage. You are not yet too old for marriage. That's how you have been counting your age. But God, as a new counting machine for you to receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we want to worship together. Even as I speak that you receive it right now. Miracles, I call you. Overtake and meet that young man. Meet that man. Yes, here is what I see. Some people are saying, I am a pastor, but I don't have the power. God does not call the equipped, but he equips the called. Be equipped in your nation in the name of Jesus Christ. I feel like our father, Baba Kuti, is saying, I want people who are equipped. I want people who are anointed. I want people who know where they are coming from, where they are going to. You must receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Touch that life. Touch that life. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Sickness, I don't beg you. I command you to go. I command you to go. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I pronounce it done. I speak it done. Be saturated now. Now, your spirit of fear. Remember, David says, 
I shall not die, but I will live to declare the words of the Lord. And the Bible says, the people who know their God shall do exploits. I want you to get it. The God of history heals. The God of history raises the dead. The God of history delivers his people. The God of history casts out burdens. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. On Jaquele Baratabasa, Kamehele Bekeri Shawo Papele Mwai, Rahosa Jawobe, Rehabasa Jaquel Aburundende, Juho Babaka Lekerebo Sateta, Chatabo Rashevole Bekera Habotai, Shekwete Televoka, as I pray for the leadership of Scotland and all the nations, equip them. Yes. Meet them at the points of their needs for your glory. Blessed be God as I pray for divine intervention in their affairs. In the name of Jesus Christ, you blind eye, receive sight right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, your high blood pressure. In the name of Jesus Christ, you HIV and AIDS. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your people be delivered right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is minister to, ministering to you. And if you desire to become a member of Zayoja Forward in Faith, look at the link. Look at the Facebook. Details are already there. And there is somebody who is waiting to welcome you. Even as I have welcomed you in the presence of the Lord. Now, you fire of the Lord, come down now in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn every shaft in the name of Jesus. Every trosser in the name of Jesus. Yes, testimonies coming now. In the name of Jesus Christ, heaviness is gone. Every pain is gone. Deliverance is overtaking you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bonja kwe hale talodo ngwai. Oraho shangwaha basatelele bongwai. Rati hebe keri shabo tabangaha. You have been looking for a church. I want you to know this is the church which belongs to Jesus Christ. Long live Baba Goti. Long live for one in faith. Long live. Yes, doors and opportunities are now open. Doors and opportunities are being opened before you. Horishan Wahaya Badi Ketele Hohai. Go back to work. Make a fresh application. Yes. Trust God. Trust God. Before many days lapse, 
you are going to meet your miracle. I can rightly say, your miracle has been looking for you. And tonight, it has found you. You are found as you are under this very voice. An anointing that will bring your answer has been sent to you. I send it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's worship before I make the final prayer. The rest of the times, in less than seven years, something great happened. And I want to say to somebody, this is a moment of great happenings, which must take place through you. History is not only read, but where the history which is a walking history. Let me pray. But before I pray, if you are there, 
and you have never received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, or you are saying, I have decided to become part of the family of forward in faith, you can repeat this prayer after me with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have heard your way. I admit that I am a sinner. I open my heart tonight. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Cleanse me with your blood. Make me to become a child of God. I said I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ, you are Lord. Thank you, Father, for accepting me in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Once again, I pray for Scotland and all its leadership for affording us the opportunity to reach the world through them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for men people who are to be incorporated into leadership through leaders. We thank you for unity in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for spiritual gifts which I speak right now. Yes, the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. Cause them to prophesy in their nation. Cause them to see visions in the nation. Cause them to see and come together in oneness of purpose. I bless them in the name of Jesus. As you remember your servant Ezekiel and your maid servant Yuna, we know through them things are are settled in the nations. We glorify your name even as we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Question
She's a 